Hey guys, it's Rubes here, and today we are getting straight into this Commander Masters Collector Booster Box. This is probably going to be our last one. Uh, prices have gone up since I purchased it. The goal, as always, is to beat the box, and to do that we need to open more than what we paid for this box, which is 200 New Zealand dollars. We have only four packs to do it. Let's see, can we beat this box? Oh, this is so exciting to open. It's a lot of pressure though, only four packs. We really gotta do well. There's super high variance in these, as you've seen if you've watched some of my other openings. Let's see if we can do it. Foundry Inspector, Kodama's Reach is nice, Reverse Engineer, Heart Piercer Bow, Hero's Blade, Judith the Scourge Diva, Foil Island, very pretty, Tatiova Benthic Druid, Elvish Mystic, we've got a Foil Falwire Stone, very cool. First rare or mythic is Sidisi, Brood Tyrant. Then we have Etched Freilis, Lanoir's Fury. Then a Calamity of the Titans from the Commander deck. Vault of the Champions Full Art. And the last one is a Foil Champion's Helm. Okay, so that one is not the best start. We've got a lot of make it up to do, but I tell you what, it doesn't take much, you know, the right card and we would be away. I'd love to pull another Lotus. I've opened quite a bit of product so far. I've just seen the one, so that would really make my day. We've got a Ministrant of Obligation, Deep Analysis, Nadir's Nightblade, Team of Battle Rage, Myriad Landscape, Titsuko Umazawa Fugitive, Foil Swamp, very pretty. Exsanguinate, all the glitters, Path to Exile looks beautiful in that alternate art. Day's Undoing is our first rare. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have never opened a demonic tutor and an etched one is just crazy. Oh my freaking gosh, that looks so nice. Okay, good, good, good. From the command set, we've got Cacophony Unleashed. Oh, this is a pack. We've got an Urchin. Nice. Yep, okay, we're doing, we're doing better. This is a good pack and a full art foil undergrowth stadium. I couldn't say how much that Ur Dragon is, but I have got a feeling between those two cards, we've at least made up half the box. Excellent. Two to go. Foil Sky Shroud Claim, beautiful ramp spell, serrated scorpion, swift response, dwarven hammer, mace of the valiant. Feast of Succession, Foil Mountain, Return to Dust, Dread Return, Foil All That Glitters, Rare is a Foil Steel Shaper's Gift, it's okay, then it is Etched Chromatic Lantern, Demon of Fate's Design, Tooth and Nail, Full Art, and Pure Steel Paladin. Very cool, but not, not enough probably. So it's going to come down to this last pack, guys. Let's see. Ur-Dragon and Demonic Tutor are two good mythics, though, so that definitely helps our case today. What are we going to find? Looter Ilkor. Terramorphic Expanse. Crash of Rhino Beetles. Cyclops Electromancer. Return to Dust, Molimo Maro Sorcerer, Foil Forest, these look so good. Counterspell, great card. Arcane Signet, also a great card. Foil Nadir's Nightblade. Here we go, let's do it. It is Azuri's Predation for our rear. Then a Etched Wayward Swordtooth. Ugin's Mastery. Oh, yeah, come on. Come on. Deflecting SWAT is an amazing pull. 
All right, I'm feeling better now. I think we might just do it. Let's see what the last one of the box is. It is Neheb the Eternal. And I'll make sure, no, he is definitely not textured. But hey, guys, that was that was pretty good. I mean, did we get to 200 bucks? Yeah, yeah, I think we did. That was really fun. Hey, I'm so glad you guys all tuned in to watch me today. Thank you so much. Subscribe if you want to see more. Like if you've enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time. Bye.